Chinese name, my Chinese name is Yolian. In Chinese, it means a lotus, uh, a being a friend with a lotus flower. This name was given given by my father when I was seven years old. Before that, my name was Xinxin. And in Chinese means happy, actually, but it sounds like forever. And that <laughs> happened when I was first day in kindergarten. <laughs> my kids laugh at me and say, ha, 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 gorilla. And I was so, I was hurt by that. So after that day, I went home and told my dad, say, other kids laugh at me. They say, I'm the monkey. I don't want that man. My dad think about it and say, okay, if you want another name, I will give you another name when you go to elementary school. As a little kid, I was easily content and say, okay, and then forget about it after a while. But my dad didn't forget about that. Uh, before my first day of elementary school, he came to me and he said, from this day, you have a new name called Yolian. And it means that you are a friend of a lotus flower. In Chinese literature, lotus represents us a uh, integrity person. And if you are a friend of a uh, a lot of far means you are also an honest person, and that is my wish for you. And wish in the future, and you are an integrity person in your whole life. As the youngest daughter in my family, my parents give me lots of love and caring. My father is a traditional man. He loves reading history and make a uh, make a uh, door couplets. And on the other hand, my mom she is a very different person. She loves uh, traveling, and because of that, I love traveling too. I especially I love going trip with friends or by myself. One time. I went to Canada by myself. And on the bus, I met a lady. And she's Canadian. Her name was Susan. In our conversation, I told her I've never been to Canada. And this is my first time in my life I travel by myself. And she said, oh, I have time. I can show you around Vancouver. And that time, I really thought she was kidding. But she did show up next morning and also the next two days. She took me around seeing Vancouver and by riding a bike. That was very unforgettable trip in my life. I have uh, a dream of an uh, adventure dream to visit Antarctica one day. And it is cold place. Sometimes people hear about that. They say, why do you want to visit there? I say, well, this is really simple because I want to see penguins. Not those penguins in the zoo and sitting there and standing there, don't move. I want to see the real life work and wild work. So, right now I'm saving money. Also, sometimes I watch Discovery Channel, National Geographic about Antarctica. So, my parents are very uh, other people influence my life a lot. I love I love reading uh, Chinese literature for my dad. I love traveling for my mom. And I sometimes think without them, I'll probably have completely different uh, interests in my life. But because then I'm here or not. Thank you.